this is concert. Today is the 14th of December 2010. It's more than 35 years ago since I left this place and I've just arrived and uh, the first thing I notice is that the bus station has completely changed. Now uh, the bus station I remember was uh, two rows rather similar to uh, this and two lines with a um, there was a clock down there and that was put up there in 1904-1905 for the to celebrate the, the visit of Edward the Eighth, Edward the Seventh, I'm sorry, to concert, and it was roughly where directly there because I do remember the Wool Centre, which was there, because my mother worked there, and the Jaeger, the family butcher, the pork butcher, which has been there since about the night the 1880s. Um, uh, a new bus station was built in 1980 and it's gone and so that is the very first thing here where Iceland and Lidl now is and that was all empty so dead land well that up there looks rather similar now where that carpet factory outlet is I seem to recall the cinema was there which would have burnt down around 19 something like that and uh, a new cinema was put up in 1977 because I saw The Spy Who Loves Me I went out to shoveling snow which gave me enough to afford 50 pence to go to see The Spy Who Loved Me but that was the cinema I think it was somewhere down there I can't remember where Pity about the weather, but then again, if you're here at this time of year, you can't expect too much, and there's not, and the day there isn't too much snow. Uh, this, the, the camera lens is probably all steamed up, which is the problem when it's when it rains. Let's see what else there is here. So, concert bus stop seems to have moved itself bodily to the north, and here is the library. A place where I used to spend hours and hours and hours uh, sitting in there uh, as a school child. The first thing I notice is that there now is a porch outside the library, which there didn't used to be in my day. But I do seem to think that the railings inside are still there, although it could be new ones. The railings, so I used to tie my bike to them. Uh, one recollection I do have from there is that I. Uh, got a book, uh, I ordered a book called Death in the Forest, which was on the Katyn Massacre, and uh, it seems very strange to think that my life now, because I'm living in Poland and all the rest of it, it's really odd to think that I've been interviewed on the television, <laughs> things related to the Katyn Massacre, um, since then, very strange the way that one's life uh, changes, but I think I'm going to have a, uh, a look inside, uh, presume I won't be allowed to film. Uh, some a bit odd sort of filming things in a library. Uh, Trafalgar Street. Victoria, Victoria Street, remember Victoria Road, can't remember. There used to be a table here, and I used to look out when I was reading, I was sat in the same place, which was there, and I'd look out there to the bus station. I turn around, see this, Shomsky Book Old School. Uh, rather strange to see that in this place. Where right I now. So John Street is exactly the same as I recall it. I don't see any difference at all at this intersection with Victoria uh, Road. Uh, now looking around here, that building certainly wasn't here. I can't remember what was there at all. But later I'm going to get some more photographs out, so that's going to probably help, help me to jog my memory. Victoria Road, uh, once again exactly the same. Post office is in the same position. As is the church that was next to it. There was an Irish Democratic Club, which I think was over here. Uh, although I can't remember. Ah, it used to be uh, here. Uh, there was a photo booth. 
Ah, that's a Catholic church, yes. Now, the street up here um, is Newmarket Street and that's where I lived although I don't quite recall it because I was too young but I'm now going to go there and have a look Now there's a fair bit of snow it's lying around still but uh, I bet that last week it was all blocked here and it's going to get blocked again in a couple of days time because it's going to really chuck it down again <clears throat> The cooperative society was very big in many areas uh, and the importance of the cooperative society was that it was um, a way of self-help for uh, people um, in many many areas of the of the United Kingdom, particularly in the northern parts. Ah, now this has completely changed. Now the house I lived in is there. It's got three antenna outside now, and next to it. There was a row of houses, but the, the other houses were knocked down to make a shop here, which is now a, snoop, a snooker club. And it used to be indented. Uh, it still is, but not like it used to be. Uh, there's also the pet shop was down here. I remember because I got my first gerbils came from there. Also got a couple of mice. Don't let them mind the mice. That's it, 11 New Market Street, that's where I used to live. Doesn't look too bad, the grounds. Let's go the back. This was. Uh, I mean, it looked pretty dismal uh, by the 80s. Ah, oh, pet shop's still here, but it's moved along. It used to be there, I think. A hillside saddle. That's what it appears to me. Park, the park top. And I have the back here from the New Market Street. Around the corner. And there used to be an abattoir down here. Not this probably would have closed in the 60s, so I mean I can't I can't I can't recall it, but my mother believed that she could hear when the, the gun or whatever it was the shot went in and uh, they could hear the, the cows and the sheep falling. And they used to bring the animals up here for slaughter. And I don't know which one it was though exactly, but it was one of them around here. So this is the back of where I used to live, but it's been done up recently, the last two or three years. And not only that, it seemed that the uh, new occupants have taken up the... Uh, oh, it's much, much bigger. I seem to recall the yard being bigger. There was also a you know, outdoor toilet, which was maybe where the bins are today, I think. Uh, a, bit, a bit dodgy on the memory front, I'm afraid. Uh, 
I was I was pretty uh, I was pretty young. <laughs> um, I did come back here uh, at the end of the 80s, I think it was, or maybe it was the beginning of the 90s. I was in the car, and uh, it was all of a ruin out the back. Uh, The back streets of concert, but it's not too bad. Now, the best uh, fish and chip shop in uh, concert uh, is this one here, uh, Jugger's Place. And the uh, place is quite difficult to find uh, these days. don't know if they've got any. Yeah. So I've just come at the chip shop, two pounds. Look at that, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Well, after an absolutely top class meal, uh, come out and it's pouring rain. Well, not pouring, but it's sort of raining. One of the symbols of the uh, success, I think, of the concert when I left here was 30% unemployment. Now, uh, well, maybe not so much now, but a few years ago, there was a thousand Poles living here in a town with a workforce, in all honesty, can't be much more than about 3,000. And there's a Polish shop here. Oh. And uh, so that surely is some kind of symbol of the success of the place. <coughs> it's Middle Street, which is pedestrianised. It was pedestrianised in the 70s when I was still here. Just the same as it does did in 1980. I've got a photograph taken here in 1981, and it looks exactly the same. Coach and horses in the same place. <coughs> here was Woolworths, which of course has gone bankrupt now anyway. Freemasons Arms, the same. Even the star up there, exactly the same place. No longer a view of the steelworks, though. The steelworks, as you came down here, was on both sides of the road, and the road would go under. And you went under like these pipes. this red smoke that used to come out. So this pollution. Being thrown up into the atmosphere. The concert was founded because of the steelworks in uh, 1840 because of local deposits of iron ore, coal, fluorospar and other things, all of which had really gone just about by the end of the uh, 19th century. Well, maybe not so much the coal, but the other. And the steelworks was closed in 19, 1980. Got photographs of it after the closure, but before it was pulled down. And today, if you wouldn't know, that it had actually been here at all. From 36% unemployment in 1981, Concept was having to import labour again within a decade. <coughs> Where Aldi is today, there used to be a petrol station, an ICI petrol station. You can see that in photographs I took at the time. So the Phoenix project, the destruction of the, uh, the steelworks. Hmm. And the rebirth of it. Let's see what we'll find up here.
because of the weather. I knew it was going to be cold. Well, it's not that cold, but it is. It's wet. 